Hello friends, this is Deepak from Epiteria. In this video, we are going to learn how to implement double back press to exit your Android app using Snackbar. Double back press to exit is really user friendly feature which you can implement in your app with very easy steps. So let's see how to do this. So here I am using Android Studio 2.2.3. I am going to create a new project for this. Say double back pressed example I'll say next I'll keep API 15 I will select basic activity I am using basic activity because it is uh, it uses coordinator layout which will be best suited for snack bar you can use any activity we can also use empty activity not a problem But on coordinator layout, snack bar will come above all the views. So that's why I'm using basic activity. So this is my activity underscore main dot XML and I'll give ID to my coordinator layout. Now in our main activity, to handle the back press of our activity, we need to override a method called as on back press. So we are going to override this method, sorry that O is small case as this uses the camel casing. So on back press, now this method is, we are going to override this method. Now in this method, first I am declaring one boolean variable that is double back press double back pressed equal to false so the default value for this variable will be false okay, so boolean variable now first we will check if that double back pressed is equal to true then do the default functionality that is nothing but super dot on back press this will be the, the default behavior of this on back press will be it will destroy your activity so if it is if it is true then it will destroy so first the default value is false so it will go into the else part now in that else we will set first we will set that double back press equal to true that boolean variable to true and we will show the snack bar. Now to show the snack bar, we need to create the object of our coordinator layout first. If you are on your activity, there is no coordinator layout, then you can pass object of any view to your snack bar. So to pass object of a view, we are creating object of this coordinator layout. Find view by ID r dot id dot the id of your coordinator layout now to create a snack bar we are going to use a class called as snack bar dot make and in this make method there are three parameter first is view so we need to pass the object of this coordinator layout second is what message you want to show on your snack bar so i will say do you want to uh, sorry the message will be press back again to exit and we'll create this resource in r.string fi string file so just hit alt enter here select this option called as extract string resource and give name like say uh, press back again now this will create a resource in my string.xml file and pass the reference here and the last parameter is duration so how long you want to show this snack bar so there are three options uh, that is indefinite long and short so we are going to use a short option here that means it will show the snack bar for two seconds now the snack bar is, will be visible to the user <clears throat> 
now this snack bar will be visible only for 2 seconds so we need to change this value that is double back press to uh, double back press is equal to true to false again so that means if user is not pressing the back button within 2 seconds then we will make that value variable value to false again so for that we are going to use a android.os.handler class and in this handler we are going to use a method called as post delayed now this post delayed is the method which requires two parameter first is runnable class and another is your delay after how much delay you want to run this method now why we are using post delayed instead of thread slip i will just explain you uh, in a while after writing this code so first i'll pass this runnable object and then second parameter is 2000 that 2000 means two, two seconds now here i will say double back press equal to false okay now i will again explain you this complete code why we are doing this again false is say example when first user will press the back button the default value of double back press is false so it will it run it will fire this event called as on back press so the first value is false so it will go into the else condition we will set this to true we will show the snack bar and after showing this snack bar if user press the back button immediately within two seconds this event will again get triggered and in this case now it will find this value to true so it will execute this super dot on back press that means it will exit your activity now say imagine if user is not pressing the back button within two seconds so we want to set this to false otherwise even after two seconds if user press this button back button it will again find this value to true so we want to set it to false so that's why we are using this post delayed method now in this post delayed method after two seconds we are setting this value to false so user comes after two seconds or he hits the back button after two seconds he will again find this false and we are going to show that message again called as press back again to exit now why we are using post delayed method instead of thread slip this code when we press the back button this code will execute on the ui thread and we want to add a delay so suppose if we add a thread dot slip there then our ui thread will be busy in that thread slip so that event will not catch as your ui thread is busy so we want to execute or we want to add this delay on some separate thread that is why we are using this method called as post delay so now after two seconds this line will be executed on separate thread but not on the ui thread right so we'll just we'll run this project and i'll show you the output so the output here on our screen so now if i press the back button so it is showing a snack bar and on that it is showing message that is back press back again to exit now I, if i don't press back immediately within two seconds the snack bar will go away and that we are setting that value again to false now if i said press that immediately within two seconds now you can so see that the activity is dismissed right so thank you for watching guys hope this video will help you subscribe our channel for more videos like this thank you